I think you might be right. There are enough times that you will use this. And as a player that likes this a lot, I would try to use this every single long rest. I would be like, even if it's not good here, I'm doing it. Um, I just think that I'll, it the cost is really high to have this be the only six level spell you're ever allowed to have. Yes, but uh, <laughs> it's probably going to be the one, if I'm honest. That, uh, I, I really enjoy it. Um, and, you know, like, it's, like I said before, there's out of combat utility. When I when it saves the day, and we can, I can get my whole party over this obstacle that we otherwise couldn't have been able to do, I'm gonna feel bad because I had to blow it on something useful rather than have fun with it in a fight. And I think that makes it even better. Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today we're breaking down our picks for the top five, and one worst, level six, Warlock Spells. This is a... Well, we're, we've reached the point where we're no longer working with packed magic, and I do feel it is my due diligence to say this is how Mystic Arcanum works. You pick okay. a sixth level spell, you can cast it without expending a spell slot, once per long rest. And it has to be 6th level, it has to be a Warlock spell, and you can't upcast it, you can't use anything else, but you get once per long rest without expending a spell slot. It functions like a 6th level spell slot, but it can only be used for the spell you pick. You can't use your lower level spells on it from the day you offer your pack magic stuff. You have to use this spell forever and always, or I think there's like an Eldritch versatility list, you switch them out as you level up if you want to, to different 6th level spells. But they have to be 6th level. You get one of them forever. So while wizards get their second one at level 19, you don't. You get one. But that being get, said... When you get seventh level spells, what happens? You get one seventh level Mystic Arcanum. In addition to the sixth level? In addition to the sixth okay, level. Okay, okay. That was the question. And you get an eighth level to ninth level Mystic Arcanum. Yeah. Basically four upper level spell slots. Okay, so it's pretty important to make sure this one counts. Yeah, this has to be a good one, which is why I think this list is uniquely troublesome. Um, because a lot of these effects are ones that are like, oh, that's kind of neat, but I don't want to always have to do that. It yes. makes niche effects, which are normally things that you can prioritize with your lower level warlock spell slots, like, oh, no, I just need something I can always use. And that makes me go, oh, no. Yes, uh, that's something I might have considered more before making my list, but I did not. Magic. Well, I still, I still like some of these. There's we some can, neat effects. Yeah. We can jump into it, I guess. Yeah. All right. You can you can kick this one off. What do you have? All right. My number five is a four-way tie. It's really a three-way tie. <laughs> and it's kind of cheating, but they're all the same-ish. It's investiture cycles. So an investiture of flame, earth, ice, and stone. Um, oh sorry, wind, stone, fly, fly, or flame and ice are the four of them. And this all gets my pick here because I think they're novel, they're kind of neat, and they hit on that warlocks don't have necessarily baked in things they want to do so like if you're playing a above board fair warlock you are relying on your fifth level spell slots and like your intuition to sort of navigate the early game and you're not completely dedicated to agonizing blast maybe you're not like going all in on the eldritch blast thing but maybe you picked up agonizing blast so it's like a, a normal action that is like you know a couple d10 damage that you should do a couple of times maybe you went in the like, pack to the chain a lot of utility stuff and you just like what warlock's offering so you stuck with it this gives you one combat where you get 10 minutes of doing this thing, and it's like a side grade to cantrips, but also has built in a bonus utility that's kind of novel. And I think while like stone is definitely the worst, it's also the one that offers some out of combat exploration because it lets you move through stone mm -hmm. without spending extra movement, but you have to not end your turn in the stone. So you have to like know and have like a plan to get to different spaces to navigate through the earth, which is a pretty cool ability, but like. I don't love this cycle. The cycle doesn't make most of their lists. And this one makes it here because it's uniquely interesting on Warlocks as, like, you have a baddish character, and this is probably fine in at that baddish character's table um, as doing, like, 14, 48 fire damage and cones round after round or something like that. Um, I still probably, if I'm making any kind of cohesive synergistic build, these have no business being my 6th level spell. But they are, like, self-contained little... For my once-per-day 6th level spell slot, this is just what I use for this encounter. And that can be fine. All right. Uh, none of the investiture spells made my list. I don't blame you. <laughs> but I am scared uh, as to what didn't. You, yeah, you might blame me after you hear what did. All right. Uh, um, 
you know, I'm I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna not put this one on the list. I love it. Scatter. Scatter is my number three. All right. I think um, it's uniquely bad here. Yeah, well, I was thinking about that when you were in, you know, doing your little intro to this video, but I I disagree. This is this is something I want to do all the time. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I get to do it once per day now, so I'm gonna, you know, as I am observing my foes, I'm gonna consider. All right, is this the fight I want to use it? Probably, yeah. And uh, I might. Well, I mean, and it's got out of combat utility, but I I really like the idea of putting a big group of enemies exactly where I want them, and uh, you know. It's like cheating at chess. Yeah, the placement in chess matters a lot more than tends to in D&D. You know, where if that queen's in one space to the left, that makes a really big difference. Whereas, like, how much of a difference does scatter make to some fights? And I'm like, the answer to that question is probably not that much. Still, it there will be fights where it's, like, really, really good. A big difference when I lay down my sickening radiance. <laughs> sure, wombo combo. Put them all back in it, make them all make, remake the save. Yeah. Like, that's cute. It's cool. I like this spell a lot. I don't think you'll be like... I think you might be right. There are enough times that you will use this, and as a player that likes this a lot, I would try to use this every single long rest. I would be like, even if it's not good here, I'm doing it. Um, I just think that I'll, it... The cost is really high to have this be the only 6th level spell you're ever allowed to have. Yes, but uh, <laughs> it's probably going to be the one, if I'm honest. That, uh, I, I really enjoy it. Um, and... You know, like it's, like I said before, there's out of combat utility. When I when it saves the day, and we can, I can get my whole party over this obstacle that we otherwise couldn't have been able to do, I'm gonna feel bad because I had to blow it on something useful rather than have fun with it in a fight. And sure. I think that makes it even better. Yeah, I don't hate again. It's my number three. I think it's it's fine. It honestly is probably the option I'm picking too, which depresses <laughs> me. Um, well, that's not true. There's one that I, probably, I might pick over it. It depends on my build. Um, my number four, we'll get to my the other one later, uh, is Arcane Gate. And this one hurt to put here, but I think it's better than the Investitures. It's like a worse version of Scatter, but it lasts 10 minutes and you can like do portally stuff with it. Mm -hmm. It seems really cool, but I can't fathom casting it more than once, but I have... Literally no other spell on this list that I would put over this. So Arcane Gate made my list. Um, yeah, I also wasn't crazy excited about it. This, especially, you know, am I doing this once a day every day? <laughs> I maybe this should be Soul Cage. Maybe like I want to talk about Soul Cage just because Arcane Gate isn't that riveting, and Soul Cage is kind of interesting. The problem is all its effects are kind of whatever. And that being your sixth level slot doesn't feel great, but none of these really feel great. So I'm like, maybe you just consider this kind of a warlock feature is this little jar of souls that you can get in some hit points from for eight hours. It does feel very warlocky. Sure does. But like, as far as Arcane Gate goes, I think there'll be some encounters where you'll, there'll be some environments you'll find Arcane Gate is powerful. And that. I guess earns it this slot. I think it's a three out of five, which is a bummer for this top five list. And it's not something um, I'm gonna use every encounter, so No, but yeah, if you if you get creative and do fun portal stuff, it, you could have fun with it. Maybe. This is the one I'm least sure of. And like I don't love the investitures, but I know there will be some characters at some tables that like the power level is low enough that those will be fine. Uh mm. this is not the case. I think there'll be some players that put this on their sheet and then actually don't use it for the rest of the game. Yeah. What else you got? Um, oh, was it my turn again? Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. I've got uh, Mass Suggestion. That, That's my number one. That's that the one that I'm taking most of the time, I think. Responsible. Yeah. I'm still taking Scatter, but uh, yeah. I appreciate the value of Mass Suggestion. This thing's this so is, good. Yeah. You can, uh, you can wreak some havoc with this one. Oh, more so than that. You can, like... I always am saying suggestion is the kind of spell that I'm always happy to have because I, I always find, no matter what the circumstances, if there's a sentient creature near me, suggestion can be good. And this is, if there are sentient creatures near me, mm. this can be good. And that's, like, disgusting. I'm really bummed out you can't upcast it. I'm so bummed out that warlocks can literally never upcast this. They physically have no way to cast 6th level spells as 7th, 8th, or ninth level spells. 
That's demoralizing. That being said, like as what, a what does, level... what does it do? Upcast? It lasts for oh, right. a year and a day. At ninth oh, level. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's pretty that's... good. It's pretty spite. And like as a warlock, as the cult leader, as the one that like brings in the fanatics of devils and elder horrors, like that's where I expect my ninth level spells to be. And you can't do that here, which is dumb. But you still get like this big everyone obeys me, 12 creatures. 12, they all yeah. suggest to be followers. Like this thing can do some work. I don't think it's that much about the suggestion, but I do think it's probably worth putting on your character sheet here. Like sure. if you want one that will always work with whatever else you built. This will always work. It doesn't take concentration. You can just slam it here. You will use this every single long rest. Like, this is a guaranteed slam dunk for your sheet. Yeah, the uh, 12 creatures really drives it home for me. That's, uh, you know, one of those guarantees that it's going to be effective. Yeah. I, I actually honestly even think there will be some encounters where you'll be fine with this hitting one thing. Or you'll be like... I don't want to have to do it, but it's what my slot's doing, and it'll still be good with that slot. Is just suggest you for 24 hours. No concentration. Dragon, this is our Hail Mary. Don't kill us. That's the suggestion. And that <laughs> might be enough. All right. Um, th that was me, right? Yeah. My, it's all right. So this, are we on my last one already? Well, we're just blitzing through this. Um, my number two is Summon Fiend. And the reason it's my number two is because you can't summon, use the summon spells as six level spells as Warlock if you don't take this. This is the only six level summon spell you can get, and that gives you your third attack with it, which is a pretty big deal. And while I don't love this more than most of the lower level versions, I don't love the effects. Having a three attacking Curling Flame Devil that's doing 2d6 plus three plus six, so 2d6 plus nine damage three times around, that's just gas. All right, yeah, Summon Fiend made my list. Uh, and you know, we've talked about this like every level for the past three videos but this is like a, a big devil that doesn't actually kill you when the spell is done which is honestly to its detriment to me <laughs> i'll take someone greater demon over this every day of the week i want the devil demon to try and kill me bob i don't <laughs> want like this obedient newfound devil that's like goody and follows my instructions where's the fun in that there's they're not I want to good. Work for you're, it. you're instructing him to kill people you don't have to. You can instruct to have a tea party. It obeys your commands. <laughs> okay, that's true. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Uh, you could be a good... I can envision a Celestial Warlock taking this spell specifically to try and, like, slowly convert fiends into being good people. I think that's kind of funny, because they have to obey your commands. So you're like a Celestial Warlock, and you summon this big, hungry, flesh-gouging demon, and you're like, well, what do we say before we eat? No, we say our prayers, not Hell Satan. I think that's a fun little character-building opportunity you could have here. Or, you know, you, you get a job, and you send him in your place. Sure. For an hour, make a, little, make a little cash for an hour. Yeah. Um. All right. Yeah. Summon fiend. Pretty good. Yeah, I think does, you, does the job. Viewers at home, if you take anything away from this video, either mass suggestion or summon fiend will be consistently good on your sheet. Agnostic of what your fifth level spells are, you will have times where you'll lose concentration on the fifth level summon shadow spawn, and the summon fiend will be a fantastic replacement for it. Um, I think every other spell we've talked about is not going to be nearly as consistent. I'm confident Bob's last pick is not going to be as consistent. I don't even know what it could be. All right, I, I picked Create Undead. I think Create Undead is actually hot trash, but you can't upcast it. Oh, I looked at it and I was crap. like, oh, this is going to be bait. I forgot about, yeah, it, it was bait. It got me. I was. I got hooked. Up. Yes, I did not consider the failure to upcast. Yeah, uh, whenever you cast this, you get, I think it's what, three ga or three ghouls? Something like that. Uh, you, yeah. you you pick three. Yes, you get three ghouls. Um, and I will take one fiend over three ghouls every day of the week because ghouls have like twelve hit points or something absurdly. <laughs> Let me double check. Ghouls have twenty two hit points. Sorry, and an AC of twelve. They have plus two to hit. Like they're jokes of monsters <laughs> at this tier. They are just like sacks of hit points that you're just gonna wash get mowed down. Okay. Well, I feel I'll, I feel good that I only get one spell and I already chose scatter. Mm, this is true. I really am bummed out that Summon Undead doesn't work with, again, the Warlock fantasy. Like, if you go the the Undead fantasy, because there's a whole subclass, there's the Undead. You get like to be the Lich, Necromancer, Overlord. You worship some kind of evil embodiment of death. You can't take Kray Undead and have it be good. So your things no. get plus two to hit. Have Nacy at 12. All right, folks. That's bummer. That right there is why you watch these videos. You, yeah. you won't make the same mistakes that I 
didn't ma- actually make. Yeah. The reason that you would take the spell for years at home, uh, go watch our white supremacy video. <laughs> What's his name? We'll always make it. W- <laughs> W-I-G-H-T. Yeah, very important. Um, eight level lets you summon whites, and they can summon, they can kill people and make zombies. And then you have like a pyramid scheme of undead, and it's very fun. <laughs> so like... Yes, that is what I was thinking about when I put this on the list. Yeah, it's uh, it's the reason you take it. And you sure can't upcast this. It's always a 6th level spell for you. You can't cast 7th, 8th, or ninth, so it's going to be a lot worse. All right. Man, you that, got you baited, Bob. Yeah, yeah, it did. That um, that could have been a contender for the worst, if not eh. for... Yeah. Yeah, uh, three ghouls is something. Three ghouls is something, and there are some nothings here. Oh, uh, yes, uh, unlike my pick for the worst, which is uh, definitely a big fat nothing. But we, we, we probably have the same one. What did you get? My worst? Yeah. I oh, you want I bite? Oh, all right. I think I bite is really, really awful. Um, yeah, it was a consideration, but not for long. But um go ahead. Maybe I'm missing something. With... What's wrong with I bite? Everything. <laughs> it takes actions to recast. You say you have to have to concentrate on it whenever you have a myriad of other better concentration effects that you'd rather be doing. And you need long duration concentration effects as a warlock to really have be have any excitement for it. You're committing actions to maybe drop things asleep, and if they're immune to it, you're just out of luck. The thing has to be within 60 feet of you. You have to you spend an action on this, and then you can get the wisdom save once, and then you have to commit other rounds to doing it over and over again. Like, the more you break down how this play pattern actually functions, the more you're just like, I should just be casting Eldritch Blast and make three attacks. I should just be controlling my fiend with my bonus set, or without using any kind of actions and, like, attacking with a greatsword twice. I should be doing anything that isn't eye-biting because you've had a whole character build up to this point that just doesn't function when you put it on your sheet. And none of the conditions are good enough to compete with Banishment, to compete with even, like, Hideous Lap, after I went over this every time. Uh, you want multi-targets at this point. You want any of... Mass Suggestion is over this 100% of the time because I didn't take your concentration and you can still get people out of fights. Like, there's no reason to ever put eyebite on your sheet. This thing is just hot trash. Um, yeah. Thinking about it, it might be better better than... Uh, it might be worse than my worst, but uh, yeah, my, mine's more of an anger pick. Which is? Flesh to Stone. What? This was my other consideration for worst, so we weren't far off. Yeah. So it does. No, you're right. You're right. I was wrong. I thought this was. I had in my brain this was transmute rock. Oh no. This no, isn't no. transmute rock. No. You're right. This is worse. Go for it. <laughs> um, this is almost never, ever, ever going to turn anyone to stone. Sure is. Uh, what you're what you're probably going to get, if you're lucky, is a restrained condition. Yeah, and, at best. Uh, yeah. And that's, you know, one restraint for a six level spell. It's not hard amazing. pass on that one. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh boy, so, you need how many things to go right for this to start working right, while let, you're let, in a fight? Let's Excuse see. Me? All right. This takes your concentration, you so spell. if you get hit, it just ends. Oh, like, right, what? right, right. You cast the spell. They make a constitution saving throw. They fail, they're restrained. But notably, um, it can still take action, they just can't move. So if it's in range of hitting you, it'll break your concentration for you. So, now they have to do it again. They haven't... No, da, 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 da. They start getting to play this little mini game where they make saves at the end of each turn. If they get three right. successes, they effect ends. Right, if they right. get three fails, they turn to stone. And there just aren't going to be five rounds in between when you cast this and the spell ending. It just isn't going to happen. Yeah, Flesh of Stone is close to uncastable. It is genuinely, really horrendously bad. I mean, yeah, it it is. If, if you have this, if you made the mistake of choosing this for your sixth level spell, give it a whirl. At least you got a restraint. Well, this uh, is a little odd part of Warlock six level spells. They're hard to detect how bad they are whenever you pick a bad one because it's you have to use it. And when you use it, it might do something, but it's never going to be doing... Like, this doesn't do anything more powerful than a third-level spell. It doesn't even do anything more powerful than a first-level spell. Like, I get... I want Hideous Laughter over this 100% of the time. Because it gets them down for way cheaper. Now, Warlocks don't have the, the good graces of having cheaper spell slots. But, like, this is not a good way to spend a sixth-level spell slot. And that's this is your only sixth-level spell slot. So, no thank you. Don't take this. Don't get goozled by it. Let me ask you this. Does, does the restrained condition... Does that uh, break concentration? Restrained... Speed becomes zero. It can't benefit but from bonuses to speed. Attacks against have advantage. It's attacks of disadvantage, and it has disadvantage for dexterity saving throws. That is what the okay. thing condition does. All right, so this is fun. 
You've got two spellcasters cast flesh to stone on each other, and they're both restrained. Then it becomes, yeah. Then somebody's going to turn to stone, maybe. But they can shoot each other still. Oh yeah. They're spellcasters. They can be like firebolt, yeah. firebolt, fire. Okay, one of the effect ends. Great, we're done. <laughs> oh well. I tried. You were right. This is oh, worse yeah, than I was... bite. I can't believe I thought for some reason that I bite was worse than this. It's not. This is the worst one by a lot. Good call. Ah, thanks. All right, but perhaps that is not the opinion of our viewers. What do you think about our list, and what do you think about Warlock six level spells in general? What are your picks? Um, yeah, let us know down in the comments, and like and subscribe and all that. And thank you for joining, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.